What's up everyone? I'm Javar from Deuce of Farms. I'm going to be documenting this entire growth for you week by week. I've been growing for a little over two years now and since the start I've always wanted to learn as much as I can. I'm no expert by no means. I'm kind of just like everyone else at home trying to figure this out. A huge help to me has been the endless information made available online, so I document my grow journey to look back on and possibly help that new grower that could be struggling right now. This grow series is brought to you by Cannon Cribs in collaboration with Ventana Plant Science and Horticulture Lighting Group. I'm going to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison between the Scorpion Diablo and the Diablo X to see what the different spectrum brings. I'm also going to be doing a side-by-side -side of Ventana Plant Science's flavor and pairing it with Athena's blended line. Welcome back to this growth series. In this episode, we'll be covering the first few weeks of flower. Before we get into that, let's do a little recap of everything that has led us up to this point. In the previous weeks, we showed the growth of the plants from clone all the way into the end of veg. In those episodes, we discussed things like our cloning process, nutrients, IPM, low stress training, and more. So if you missed out on any of those episodes, be sure to check them out to catch you up to this point in the series. With that out of the way, it's time to get into flower. In order to make the switch, we'll be changing the light schedule to 11 hours on and 13 hours off. 12-12 is like the most common light schedule, but this way lets the plants finish a couple days early and I haven't really noticed any differences in the final results, so I've kept with it. With me shortening the light schedule, I'll also have to increase the light intensity to get my desired daily light interval of about 36 to 42 throughout the stretch phase. And I'll increase it in the later weeks of flower to maybe 48 to 52 depending on how the plants are growing. Now like I said, these first few weeks are the stretch phase. This occurs at the start of flower when the plants are transitioning from veg. During this period, the growth of the plants will be rapid as they reach and stretch up towards those lights. It typically takes place in those first three weeks and it's common to see the plants 2x in size, but as I mentioned in previous episodes, I've had plants 3x or maybe even 4x. With the current size of my plants, I'm a bit nervous that I may run out of headspace and will need to raise my lights, but that's no problem as long as they don't go past that because I can only raise the lights so high before I completely run out of space. Also during this phase with the plants growing so rapidly, they're going to require a lot more nitrogen as they grow. It's common to see the energy get used up from the older lower growth. I've actually been wanting to try running the grow nutrients halfway through this phase to give that boost to nitrogen but this would be the first time that I'm doing so, so I'm not gonna do it and I'll hold it off until later. And in the future, I will do a side by side and see the results of running the grow versus the bloom in these early weeks of flower. Speaking of the nutrients, with me entering flower, I'm gonna be switching from the grow A and B to bloom A and B. Still running CalMag, Cleanse, and Flava. I won't add any PK until week three. Action. One thing I like to do at the beginning of flower is lollipopping my plants. With this being my first time growing these plants, I'm not going to be going too heavy or high on the cut. I've tried lollipopping at all sorts of stages, before flipping, at day 14, and also at day 21. Lately, I've been doing it right at the start because that's what i found the most success with. Waiting later tends to make it a little bit more difficult because there's a lot more growth on the plant to cut. Also, I'd rather do it from the start so the plant isn't wasting any energy on growth and buds that I'm going to cut down anyway. I'll still cut down some later on as the plants grow because I'll realize I missed something, but it won't be as much as the initial cut. For those unfamiliar with the term, it simply refers to the trimming of lower growth that won't quite produce the desired bud we're looking for. With us removing that lower growth and leaving behind those top branches, it gives the sort of lollipop structure, hence the name. It also helps to decrease the humidity levels in the space due to less foliage, and it increases the airflow that is able to move throughout the canopy. Plants are going fast and with this I have to continue checking my PPFD so that I can make adjustments to ensure that I don't end up overdoing it. When using any light meters it's good to get readings from multiple spots because you could be in a hot spot or simply holding the instrument wrong. All of the technology that we have available today is incredible. When used correctly it can help us really dial in our environment. 
which in return will result in our plants happily thriving. What's the saying? Happy wife, happy life. Well, as growers, we tend to find ourselves married to our plants, so it's best to keep them happy. But how can we tell if they're happy? Main thing is just keeping them healthy. A green, fast-growing plant is happy. If they had faces, I'm sure they'd be smiling at us. One thing I like to describe as them smiling is them praying. In the third week is when we really started to see those bud sites coming in. And this is only the start. They're going to continue building their structure and trichomes. The super buff cherry should actually display some nice color thanks to that tropped cherry within the genetics. This is also the last week of the stretch phase, so we should see that growth starting to taper down as the plants now focus their energy on building those colas. After all that stretching, I did end up having to raise the lights and we really don't have any more room to raise them any higher. I also started adding some PK to the feeding during this week to assist in the production of the buds. This entire growth series has been fun so far and that's what it's all about, having fun and doing what we love. Be sure to follow along in the coming weeks as we continue off this grow all the way up to harvest. If you're interested in seeing more of my content, follow the link down below. Catch you in the next episode. Peace.